Okay, Greg, we're over here at the table and we've got three tie downs here. Uh, what's the purpose of these three tie downs here? Sure, Dave. Well, this is an example of a spike that uh, basically all the tie down products that are available now use. And it's about a 12 inch stake and it goes in at a 45 degree angle or so uh, with the other products, which means it probably gets under the soil uh, maybe five to seven inches. Okay. This is the uh, inexpensive doggy tie down and actually this will hold up pretty good but if you put any load on it it'll either snap the head right here or this uh, triangle will break off and uh, and then you're going to lose your airplane and this is the product that i developed uh, it's a 18 inch long hardened aluminum screw weighs a little bit over a pound uh, it's attached to a, a tie down strap with a 6,000 pound steel ring and uh, 6,000 pounds of webbing so uh, it's a very heavy duty, very industrial, uh, very strong product and really what I wanted to develop something that wasn't just equal to everybody else's product, I wanted something that was superior. Yeah. Now when I look at these products though, I, could, I use, to put this one into the ground I generally would use a tire iron or something like this. For this one I would use a hammer. How do I put this whole girl into the ground? Great question. Uh, there's a couple different ways. Uh, on the end of this, this is cast in part of the screw. This is a one inch hex head. Uh, it's very strong. And you can use a uh, half inch drive with a one inch socket to screw it into the ground. You can use a uh, gear wrench ratchet. And if you're really feeling industrious, uh, you can use an impact driver. Okay, so it'd be just a little electric impact then? Electric impact driver would work as well. Okay. Now, what about soil conditions? For example, uh, if I'm into a real hard soil in this case, do I have to start it with a hammer or will it screw in as, as well? Yes, um, and that's a great question. You know, all, all products have advantages and all have disadvantage. Uh, again, when you're using a tie down with a stake in a soft soil or wet soil, it's very apt to pull out. It doesn't have a lot of holding ability. In a softer and wet soil, the screw works phenomenally well. But to be honest, when you get a large screw like this in a very hard packed soil, it is very difficult and sometimes impossible to put it in. So no product is the answer to everything, but in a uh, sun and fun, in an a Oshkosh environment, and uh, most, most uh, turf airports, this product's gonna go in very easily. Now, in, in a lot of cases, one of the reasons you're tying this airplane down is because you're expecting wind or storm or something like that, which would be rain and so on and so forth. So once I have this product installed in the ground, how easily is it affected by, for example, rain? Great, great question. Um, the other products, and again, they all, they all will hold you know, some, some weight uh, themselves. This product has a little over two square inches of surface area. So you're looking at pulling at an angle against a couple square inches of surface area in the ground. Uh, this has a little bit more, obviously. This particular product has 80 square inches of surface area. So you're looking at 80 square inches of holding against the soil, whether it's a strong soil or a weak soil. It's just a factor of uh, multiplying the surface area and uh, against the soil type. And there are no two soil types are the same. Everything's different. And people often ask me, how much will it hold? And I said, well, that really depends on the soil. So in testing this, uh, I compared the other products I wanted to see how they held up against in mine in various different soil conditions. And uh, the large screw with this large surface area always outheld anything else that was currently on the market. Now, these units here are fairly compact, easily for me to store in the airplane. Compare that to what you're uh, supplying me with. Yeah, there's two questions everybody asks. How, how much does the whole system weigh and, and how much room does it take up? And as I developed the product, that was a, a key point as well. There was no sense uh, having a product that weighed too much because cer certainly weight is always a factor in aircraft. So as an example, the Cloud product, which is, uh, uses these uh, steel stakes, it comes in at right about 10 pounds. So that was sort of my benchmark. I wanted to be right there, uh, the same as the competitors. Also, there's one called Storm Force that comes in 10 pounds, maybe a little bit under. So when I designed this, 
I came up with the bag. It's a little bit longer than the Storm Force or the Claws because of the length. This is an 18 inch long screw. So this is a 22 inch bag and it comes in with three screws, the heavy duty straps, the uh, S hooks and the attention adjuster. It's just about 10 pounds, right about 10 pounds. So weight is apples to apples, uh, size just about the same dimensions around, maybe a little bit smaller and uh, a few inches longer. Okay, so we looked at the uh, tie-down unit itself, but there's a lot more to this than that. You've also got a, a strap, and it looks like it's a fairly heavy-duty strap. Sure, let me tell you about the uh, development of the strap that I have on there. So, really, when I, when I settled on this particular screw because of its strength and, and good gripping qualities, I really needed to find a way to attach it to uh, a strap and then ultimately attach it to an airplane. So I came up with a system using these uh, cast steel rings, which are rated at over 6,000 pounds. I'm using industrial uh, webbing. This is a polyester webbing. It's uh, waterproof, sun fade resistant, and uh, will not stretch, which is absolutely key. And another key feature uh, that I really liked, I found this product. It's a uh, locking tensioner strap. So to hook this uh, system to your airplane, you would use these nice vinyl coated heavy duty S hooks one direction here, one direction there into your eye bolt. You open up the tensioner and you pull the slack out of your tie down and with one hand it locks it in. So right here there's your locked in tight tie down strap. No knots to come loose and uh, it will not stretch because the uh, polyester is a non-stretch polyester. And there's three of these that are supplied with the unit? That's correct. Um, each screw comes, as you see here, with uh, the uh, cast steel attachment ring, a tensioner, the 6,000 pound industrial webbing, and a set of S hooks. So that would typically be one for each wing and one for each for the uh, tail. So three points, all three would fit into the uh, bag, and again, the combined weight is 10 pounds. Well, okay, Greg, let's put this unit of yours to the test. Absolutely, and what I'm going to do is the same thing I did when I started developing this product is I did the same thing we're doing here. I wanted to see what the other products out there, how much they held, and how much the product I was developing could hold. And if mine couldn't hold more, then I really didn't want to go forward. So yeah, let's put it to the test. Okay, so you've got a winch on there. I've got a gauge on the bottom, and the gauge is in pounds, correct? The uh, gauge is in pounds. Okay. You're going to winch on that, and that's going to put uh, stress on the uh, tie down. And at the point in time that the tie down starts to give, we're going to have an accurate uh, read on the gauge, correct? Great, yeah. We're going to test uh, some of the other products that are out there and mine in the exact same piece of soil with the same equipment. And let's see what they do. Okay, so this one here is a, a triangulated aluminum with uh, three spikes that uh, are driven in. And this is fairly hard soil here. This is uh, probably the best test for a tie down unit as far as the gripping strength of the unit. Yeah, this soil is not typical of what you'd find at Fun and Fun in Oshkosh. It's a very hard clay, very, uh, very difficult to drive the nails into. So it should actually work very, very well for this particular product. And uh, we are pulling up exactly straight up, which is how this particular uh, product needs to be put in. If you actually pull on this from an angle, uh, it will not uh, fold as much as it does straight up. So we're gonna we're gonna do it just like the manufacturer suggests. Okay. Go. Okay, we're sitting right now at 91 pounds. coming now at 270 pounds. We're at 327. Just starting to come out of the ground. What are we at? 499. And we're 525 and it's out of the ground right now. Let's start the channel. Let's uh, keep going. There it goes. So we're about 500 pounds in that unit right there. Okay, Greg, so we've switched over to our uh, second product here. Right. It's a uh, unit that uh, uses four nails and a piece of angle iron. Right. Uh, we've got our gauge zero. We're on the same soil, uh, same equipment, no difference. Okay. Apples to apples, and what's important here is this particular product says it has to be used at a 45 degree angle to the angle of the nails. So we've done that. You can see we're pulling it at an angle as uh, 
is required by the manufacturer. So, okay. Dave, let's see what this one can do. Okay. Okay, we're at uh, 135 pounds. 168 pounds. 262 pounds. It's starting to pull out of the ground. Yeah, I'm going off from that. So 262 is as high as reading as we could get. Okay, Greg. So now we switched over and we're going to do a doggy tie down. And again, we're, everything's the same, same soil, same everything else. Same exact thing. And what I want to show is uh, how well this holds. Uh, you're going to see this triangle bend up and then eventually either that triangle will snap off or the screw will pull out of the ground. And you'll be surprised how well this actually holds. Again, this is a, uh, a two or three dollar item and to trust your $100,000 uh, home-built aircraft to it, uh, just not, not, a, not a great idea. So here we go, Dave. And, and it actually broke. The first one broke because I was trying to screw it in. first one did break in half before we even got it in the ground. Okay, you're okay. ready to do the scale? We're ready. <laughs> Okay, just we're not we're not tight. Just a second here. It, okay, okay, we're at uh, 100 and, 133 pounds, okay. and you can see that it's already starting to fail or yep. bend. Well, it'll it'll bend out and then okay. it'll hold. It'll stop it's already eventually. it's already uh, coming out. Of, oh, it's still. I'm back down to 135 pounds. It's still. Okay. Okay, I'm at 217. Okay, so that's about where some of those other products fail. Yep. Okay, hold it. I'm at 320, 320, 320. Right, so that's above where some of the other ones fail. And you can see it's starting to, okay. start to rotate now. Yeah, I went up to 400 and now I came back down to 280. Right. Now you watch that, that you've got a lot of load there. If that does let go, you're likely to get hit, so be careful. Okay. There, it's coming. Oh, well, I'm at 368. Okay. Still holding. And let's keep going here. Yep. I think there, that's, that's it. it. 368, and she broke through. That's right. But as you say, a three dollar item did more than some of those other items did, yep. and yet nowhere near what. Uh, right. What I yours mean, if you did. had a product like this and it was bending, you wouldn't trust your aircraft to it. Yeah. Either. And the other thing is that when it was bending, it was slacking the cable off that was holding it as well so now you've got the whiplash uh, whiplash right, your rope or whatever yeah. you use to attach this to your airplane is no yeah. longer tight so now you got that wing bouncing up and down yeah. you're going to yank that out of the ground and you're going to lose your airplane okay okay greg so now we're going to pull yours i'm sorry hang on one second make sure we're all zero all right here we go okay. just a minute so we're going to pull yours yep okay, same soil same everything no difference in that now, we're pulling straight off. Does it make a difference with yours whether it's at an angle or whether it is straight? It really doesn't. Uh, obviously, on a straight pull, like on any screw device, you're going to get the strongest grip when you pull straight up on it because you have the most uh, compression of the soil and the most surface area touching that screw. But it works actually uh, pretty darn good at an angle as well. For example, if you tied this behind your tail wheel on a tail dragger, you're not going to be able to put it right underneath that leaf spring. You're going to put it back a couple of feet. Uh, it's not a problem. Okay, so you're going to start to ratchet, and yep. I'll read off uh, some uh, numbers. Sounds great. Let's see what the uh, big screw easy tie down can do. Ready, Dave? Yep, go Here ahead. Go. Okay, we're at just a second here until it stops. We're at 450 pounds uh, roughly right now. Okay. Okay, just let me stop a minute here. We're at 630 pounds. Okay, just a second. We're 740. We're 941 pounds. Okay, now this winch only goes up to 1,200 pounds, so we're going to stop about 1,200 pounds because anything more than that, we're probably going to break the wing on your airplane anyway. Okay. Okay, there's 1,200. Just want to keep going? Just a second. She's she isn't 1,200 yet. She's 11, good. 11, 12. So 11, give me another 12. one more crank, and Let's we'll see go what we get. One more, and uh, either we'll break my uh, winch, or uh, okay. maybe the an entire plug of soil will pull out of the ground. What we 
we got, Dave? She dropped down to 988. Right, so what happened? I actually felt it slip. Uh, actually, the okay. soil is starting to break apart now around the screw. So let's call it maxed out at 1,200 pounds. Yep. As close as that as you can get. Okay, so we just did a test on your unit, and I find it hard to believe that something that is $3 and whatever cents pulls better than some items that are $90. And yeah. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. Yep. But I, you know, you, you saw that, that dog screw bend up and as soon as that bends, you've lost your security on your airplane. So, yeah. and as see, say, it also broke, the first one broke as I was trying to right, screw we it couldn't in. even get it in the ground. It didn't, uh, yeah. you know, so you, you end up, you're at a place, a storm's coming, you're trying to screw it into the ground and now you've only got two tight outs. Yeah. Well, I, I don't want to say it, but it sounds like you'd be. Yeah. <laughs> so, your item then comes as a complete package. Correct. The only thing they really have to buy other than that is a unit to screw it down with. Correct. Yeah, there's a couple options. You know, I, I when I did all my focus groups with uh, a lot of the EAA chapters, I said, you know, you, most of you fellows own a half inch drive and a one inch socket. And they said, yeah. So I really wanted to put my product together and give the purchaser an option either to use uh, uh, their own their own half inch uh, ratchet and socket uh, with a one inch drive or if they don't um, I have available uh, one inch uh, ratchet wrench uh, gear wrench makes these you can buy these at Menards and Lowe's and Home Depot they're somewhere around twenty dollars and I will sell you one uh, for just about that as well and they fit right into the bag fit as right well. in they're gonna add about one pound to the package so you're actually about eleven pounds all in uh, with with the tool okay. so if someone wanted to get one of these what kind of delivery time are they looking at? Do you have them in stock? Sure. Right now in inventory, I've got about 100 pieces. And again, it's a new product. They're not uh, not at risk of running out of inventory right now. Okay. But uh, I could certainly ship, and uh, you would have it within a week of ordering. Okay. Now, while we were here and we were doing this video, a gentleman walked up and said, what kind of warranty uh, do you apply to your product that would, that you, you sure. replied to him was? Absolutely. Um, again, I'm very confident in the quality of the products and the parts in this kit. Uh, and I would be happy to warranty anything for a year. Um, obviously, if you abuse it, that wouldn't be the same. But uh, if you look at these and people pick it up and they go, my gosh, that thing is, is just massive. It's, uh, it's a strong piece of uh, alloy aluminum. Uh, I'm not concerned about it breaking, but if it does, I'm going to ship you another one. Okay. So if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, get an order in for one of these, what's the easiest way to do that? Best place to uh, get a hold of one of these and see a product video on this uh, besides your site would be at bigscrewtiedown.com, or you can also go to EZ, that's the letter E and Z, tiedown.com. Either one will get you there. Uh, it uh, has every bit of information about the product that we've talked about today, and uh, it has a button you can click and buy it as well. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Wrong hand. Wrong hand. <laughs>